In Colorado, authorities continue to gather evidence in the mass shooting at a Denver area movie theater. 71 people were shot, 12 killed. Police arrested the suspect in the theater's parking lot. Some of the injured are reportedly in critical condition. At a press conference today, Aurora Mayor Steve Hogan tried to console the community. It's a tough day. I'm joined back here by a number of the Aurora City Council members. State senators, state representatives, other members of the community.、Uh, we will all come together. We'll survive this, but there's there's no way around it. It's tough. Aurora Police Chief Dan Oates provided some details about the suspected shooter, James Holmes. We believe that as part of this assault, Mr. Holmes set off two devices. To distract the crowd,、um, they ignited in some form and released some sort of irritant or smoke. And we know that his car was parked nearby in the back. One eyewitness who was inside the theater at the time described the scene to the Denver Post. You hear some smoke bombs going off. Personally, I thought it was a special movies effect. That was going on. Next thing you know, people were running and screaming, scrambling. Popcorn was flying in the air. Drinks, you know, people was falling on the ground. And I kind of recognized the situation that was going on, and I pretty much just hit the floor. Police declined to discuss a motive, but said they are confident the shooter acted alone. The FBI also has 100 people on the scene at this time. The agency said it does not see a connection to terrorism, but investigators are working on leads, some of which extend beyond Colorado. For more, we're joined by KJNU's Jim Pollan. Jim, tell us about the suspect who was arrested today. The suspected shooter was identified as James Egan Holmes, a 24-year-old white man. Who lives in Aurora, Colorado? He was a Ph.D. student in neurosciences at the University of Colorado, but he is in the process of withdrawing from the program. He graduated from high school in San Diego, and then he graduated from the University of California, Irvine, with a degree in neurosciences in 2010. There,、uh, he doesn't appear to have a criminal record in San Diego or Colorado, and he didn't serve in the military. And what weapons were recovered from the suspect? There were four weapons that were recovered from the、uh, suspect: an AK-47 assault rifle, and a tactical shotgun, which is a kind of a short-range weapon used for combat, which、uh, usually has a five to eight-round capability. And there were two、uh, .40-caliber Glock handguns: one that was with him, and the other was found in the theater. And today, the governor of Colorado, the mayor of Aurora, spoke about the impact on the community there. What What have you heard from community members reacting to the shooting? The reaction that I'm hearing is a, of tremendous sadness、uh, and uh, an outpouring of uh, support uh, for the victims of this shooting. And uh, no one uh, seems to be angry at this time.、Uh, everyone seems to be. Uh, you know, very sad about this、uh, about this event. That's Jim Pollan, reporter with KGNU in Denver. Jim, thank you. Thank you. The shootings in Colorado have reignited the debate over lax gun laws that permit people to buy military-style semi-automatic assault weapons. Gun control advocates, including the Coalition to Stop Gun Violence, say these weapons have quote no legitimate civilian purpose. Speaking today on the John Gambling Show, Mayor Michael Bloomberg reiterated his call to action to stop gun violence in the country. Soothing words are nice, but maybe it's time that the two people who want to be president of the United States stand up and tell us what they're going to do about it, because this is obviously a problem across the country, and everybody always says, "Isn't it tragic?" And you know. Uh, we look for was the guy, as you said, maybe re trying to recreate Batman. I mean, there's so many murders with guns every day. It's just got to stop. Following today's shooting, the Brady campaign to stop gun violence called on people to sign a petition urging Congress to act. The group said, "Quote: Too many politicians are doing the bidding of the National Rifle Association." You're listening to FSRN.